So to answer a question that may be on your minds is uh, if I'm presenting all these um, lecture and discussion lessons with PowerPoint presentations and there's all these points where I do checks for understanding, um, there's all these points where I uh, pose critical thinking questions, etc. Um, well, why don't I spell all that out for you guys in the, in the lessons themselves? Uh, well, I've got a cautionary tale that I hope explains that. Um, I have a student teacher this year, actually two student teachers this year, um, and the initial part of the work together, they were working um, essentially from my PowerPoints, putting them up on the screen, reading right off the screen, teaching them, and I just got that sense that it was really, really, really boring for the students. Okay? And I thought about it and reflected, what is missing? The miss, what was missing was the authenticity, and I think that's uh, really what points to uh, the vital role of a, of a live teacher, or a real critical thinking, living, breathing human being, uh, being this mediator between content and the students themselves. You're essentially a bridge, and to really be an authentic bridge, you're going to have to use your experience. You're going to have to use your knowledge of, of your students and uh, what are their interests? Who are they? What are the questions that they're going to bring? So um, in the discussion guides, I, I talk about what I'm hoping the students uh, get from, from my lectures and from my discussion questions. So those are kind of my learning objectives. Uh, but I feel like if I prescribe everything that I do uh, and say, you know, and if you just do that, in my experience, that just winds up falling a little bit flat. So that's a challenge and an invitation. Find what works for you. You know your students best. You know how you relate to these, uh, to the subject, to the content. How does this affect your life experience? And I think, uh, in my experience, is if at all possible, if you can share what's, uh, what makes you interested in it, what makes you passionate about it, how it relates to experiences you've had, makes it that much easier to invite students to share what they find interesting, to share their experiences. And then again, it just makes a lecture uh, much more an, an interactive. Uh, experience for both students and you as the teacher uh, makes it more entertaining for everybody and I think it really can add the depth that you don't get straight from a textbook that you don't get straight from the PowerPoint as it as it sits on the screen again uh, I hope it doesn't come off like a cop-out but that's for you guys to figure out how to best use this uh, content use these resources uh, and make it work for you and your students